Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit Architecture. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial I am going to discuss about more settings in grid and in the last video tutorial I taught you how to do annotations in uh, architectural plan, how to do dimensioning using various uh, methods like align linear angular and I forgot to uh, tell you about angular dimensions so you can simply select two corners of any plan and you can take the dimensions uh, angular dimensions of that corner so can it is very easy so in this today we tutorial I am going to teach you about the placement of grids in this plan and columns and some more settings in grids so let's begin I am going to my uh, our lecture tab and I'm going to delete this and I will select grid here now we'll uh, select the central point of this wall and I will simply drag this outside and we can rename this also after selecting grid you can rename it from here like A, B, C or you can simply click here and you can rename so I am going to rename it this as A so you can see it is changed here also or else you can change here and it can it will be applied here so likewise you can change the grid names and after that uh, we can drag this using this tail and after this I am again going to select this grid and we will again select the central point of this wall and you can see the alignment here you can simply drag this here after the, uh, this again we will select a grid and you can see after A it is automatically B so uh, likewise you can select each corner this wall I can drag this again I am going to select grid D for this wall this is simply to make you understand how we will work and save your time in Revit in comparison to AutoCAD so in Revit it is much much faster so now we will uh, again select this central line wall and we will make grid E simply we will drag this so now this is horizontal grid is ready now we will uh, start with vertical grids so I will select this central line of this wall and we can simply draw another grid here vertical and you can drag this you can see these circular things you can drag to your desired length so you can rename this also and select this grid and you can rename this from here also or and here also so I am going to rename this as 1 apply and next we will again select this central line of this wall and you can match with this column grid 1 you can simply drag this so you can also ask for this uh, residence plan for to do your practice and I can send you to your mail or I will give it into our description link so you can draw another grid here now and drag this so uh, I will go to my this fourth grid and I can simply drag this and we will draw our fifth grid line here
so uh, this is our grid settings and now we will uh, start putting columns so i am going to my column structural column and i will select this 12 into 18 inch column and now i will start uh, i will go to my level 2 i will select level 2 here and it is not visible because uh, it's uh, no, we have to make it to level 2 this is height i'm going to make it level 2 and now we will put our column here and you can put another column here you can shift uh, this window you can simply move this window here and again we will select column here structure column We will place another column here, another column here, and you can put one column here, and one column here, you can move this window. This is not, uh, this is only plan to do practice. So uh, we'll take another column. Likewise, you can place columns. So uh, we can put another grid uh, here in curve grid I have told you in my last video tutorial you can use this arc or you can simply use peak line and we can select the central point of this wall and we can make grid 6 here select this grid and you can select this point here and you can move this grid so this is grid 6 and drag this so sometimes for uh, curve shapes it is required and irregular shapes so this is the method how we can make uh, columns and grids in Revit architecture so you can uh, move these columns also so uh, so this is the method we will now we'll see some more settings in Revit architecture. So I will select this grid and now I am going to edit type and you can do some more settings like symbols, grid head circle. So this is circular shape is grid head circle. If you want to do some more settings, you can select grid head no bubble. So I am going to select this grid head no bubble. I am going to apply. So you can see there is no grid head bubble so it is only numbering you can simply click ok you can see here there is no bubble so again i am going to select this i am going to edit type and you can select again grid head circle so you can apply after this this is center segment continuous so you can select none so I'm going to select none. So you can say this is there is no central line segment, is only end segment, and it is only end segment is visible, central line segment is not there. So sometimes you can use this if there is a lot of detail, you can use this method so that anyone can read inside plans. So again, I'm going to select this grid, and now I will use custom methods also you can use and you can see uh, change the central line segment weight 
and you can see in center line segment color also so i am going to use center line segment weight i am going to make it one only and i am going to use center line segment color to different color so that we can understand and i will make it blue and now center line segment pattern is a grid line so we will leave like this only and if you want to change to some other line also like double dash you can simply apply here and it is double dash here so likewise you can play with this and now i am going to make it grid line only and end segment also weight is also like one i will leave this uh, like only end segment color so this is end segment so we will uh, use different colors here i am going to make it uh, like magenta here so i am going to apply so you can see this color is changed to magenta you can use some other colors also if you want according to your project you can use light colors also and you can apply here likewise you can do some more settings here so uh, i am going to end segment pattern the grid line half inch i am going to make it dot 3 by 16 inch if you apply you can see end segment is in dot line here if you click ok and if you will see this this is in dot so there are a um, uh, lot of settings in grid you can play with that and you can use this uh, plan view symbol and one default you can click check this you can apply so you can see see this also so i will leave it uncheck apply so uh, after this plan view and to default you can uncheck this and it will apply it will be disappeared from here so if you check both of them click apply so it will be visible to both the sides you will click ok so it will be available this numbering systems to both sides i will again select this i will go to uh, edit and i will simply uncheck this and now you can simply apply this and you can use this techniques for your presentation so uh, if you want to uh, do more settings of columns like if you want to take a wireframe like black and white print if you go to your wireframe these columns are white so you can simply change the material i'm going to select this column and you can simply go to edit type Sorry, this uh, material properties and this is structural material concrete cast in we will change the material we will go to this we will expand this and now we will go to this pattern this is uh, color RGB appearance also is like this we will go to this graphics and now we will use this pattern to solid fill we will select this ok ok and you can see the color of this column is has become block black after this setting so you can use this for your presentation now we will do the dimensioning of this that's why i discussed about dimensioning in the, my last video tutorial so we will go to annotate tab and we will go to this align and we will pick this grid line 1 and this grid line 2 then 3 and then 4 and then 5 and it will click outside so you can do this dimensioning of grids so you can compare with autocad how much time you can save So likewise if you want to work in mm also you can simply type un here and you can change your dimension to feet and fractional inches to millimeters here and you can click ok and you can if you want to work in meter you can select meter here so likewise you can simultaneously change the dimensions here in uh, mm metric and feet there are more settings of columns and grids suppose i have drawn this uh, 
one grid plan here and column is uh, placed at every corner grids and if you will move this grid so column will also uh, move with this grid so uh, there are, if you select this column here and if you go to this properties and there here it is move with grids if you uncheck this then column will be not move with this grid suppose i am moving this grid here so you can see this column is not moving and likewise you can do this kind of settings in grids so these are the various settings so you can learn from this so thanks for watching in the next video tutorial we'll come with some more interesting video tutorials in revit thanks